with another video. Today we're doing Never Have I Ever, the church edition. Let's get started. Never have I ever lied to my parents. Okay, but it's about the little things, though. No, but you know that thing is when you're a little kid and you broke a glass and then you cleaned it up and then your mom's like, where's the glass at? And you're just like. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever had a crush in the church and lied about it. <laughs> Three. Miley, you lied. <laughs> ain't no way, Miley. Ain't no way. You know, people you had a crush in church and lied about it. I don't have a crush. You never had a crush in the church and lied about it? I know I did. Okay, he played not, drums. No. <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you, I guess. Next question. Never have I ever... But fell in asleep in church. Three, two, one. <laughs> like, bro, sometimes the service be boring and like. No, it's not even that. When you come <laughs> home from school and then like you gotta get ready for church and then you just go to church and then pass out. Yeah. Enjoy that. <laughs> I remember. Three, two, one. Yeah. Never have I ever went out because my parents weren't around. Church pastor about something. Three, two, one. Is it fair because he's my dad? <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. We gotta, we gotta play a clear distinction. Uh, are you lying to him because about he's your dad, or lying to him as a pastor? There's two different things right here. Oh, okay. Whatever. If it's like there, okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Wait, it's your turn. Never have I ever wished I wasn't a Christian. Never have I ever failed like a fake Christian. Never have I ever felt like a fake Christian. How do you, how do you 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 feel like a fake Christian? What what is what does that mean? So like I guess it I guess in a term like you come to church because you're being forced to do it and you're, you're oh, not Christian. No, no, you no. just do it because your parents force you to do it. Oh no. Yeah. Never have I ever got embarrassed at church. Brother Bottles be real. <laughs> <laughs> we all have. Oh my gosh. Never have I ever got Never have I ever dreamed of being a pastor. <laughs> Lucky babe. <Yeah. laughs> Never have I ever 
ask someone that they pray about it. Wait, I'm confused on the question. I don't even know. I'm okay, so if they're telling you a problem and then you ask them if they prayed about it, oh, yeah, that's the question. Never have I ever say I will pray later. Three, two, one. Oh, but I, but I didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever not go to church because I was upset with God. Oh. Three. Two, one. <laughs> Wait, upset with God? No, I wouldn't say upset with God. Person. Okay, so what happened was, like Molly was saying in the previous question, the life choices. Like I was thinking about life, and like I felt like there was a time in life where things were going the wrong direction, and I felt like God wasn't there for me. So I was just like, you know what? Just for not punishing him, I'm not going to church. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sleep. What was your reason? No, no, no. Oh, what I said. Okay, okay. Well, you know, after that, I got a whooping, of course. <laughs> My parents are like, no, well, why did you go to church today? So, you know. Never have I ever wanted to give up on, like, the whole Christian thing. And, No, seriously. <laughs> but no, it, it, that Christian said it. Sometimes you're going to be questioning the life choices and then you're just going to ponder and wonder. Never have I ever thought being a Christian was boring. Mm. Mm. Boring is a very interesting word. When I was younger, yeah. So, you know, growing up in a Haitian home, you ain't got no choice if you have to go to church or not. They wake you up, you go to church, and you just, like I'm saying, these people, when I tell you these people can't sing, there be some people that can't sing. It don't, it don't, I don't care if they came from my church or another church, their voices be putting me to sleep. I'm sorry, I, I but I just have to say it. One time at the church, the lady got the neck was off, and then she won't leave. <laughs> She goes, uh, and I was like, wow. <laughs> that killed me. So, oh my God. Never have I ever been late for church. Not, late not for even church? gonna lie. Not even gonna <laughs> lie to you. I, that took me 100%. But the problem, I have a problem. I wake up on time and. I will still be late. I don't know what's, I, I have, well, it's not even only for church though. Like I'm late everywhere I go. Like I'll be going to school and I'm late. I'll be going to somewhere at plan and I'm late. It's crazy. I'm, I'm just a tardy person in general. It's not only church. It's just everywhere I, I go. So. I just wake up and lay on the bed and watch YouTube and then forget what time is it. So growing up with a pastor, father, six o'clock, five o'clock is the time to be up for school, for church, for anything. Yeah, you see, I get the lecture every morning for being late to school, and I still do it the next day. So I'm, I'm just a tardy person in general. I don't know how to explain it better than that. I'm just extremely tardy. Never have I ever hated another oh Christian member. Put that thing back down. <laughs> I, I never. You know, She hated somebody at that church. Who? Name the blame the person. I don't know the name, but I know she just lied. That's a lie. Um, Hate like, is a very strong word. Dislike and maybe have a it unwanted opinion of the person. Yes. It depends. But like, hate a per hate another member of the church. No. For me, I feel like I hate everybody. So like, um, like you know, for a pastor kid, people kind of expect us to be in a pastor child position 
But um, growing up, it was just like, they trying to give you a lecture knowing their kids is a hot mess. And I'm just like, bro, your, kid, your child know better than us and stuff like that. And I just started hating that person because they thought their child was better than us. And I'm just like, but where your kid at though? He ain't at church though. And it was like, you know, I don't like this person. And also, we got some people up in here, girl. When I tell okay, you it's kind of clean, when they be like, you have to clean it, you have to do this, do this. Every Sunday or any time we have service, hey, hey, Chrissy, go do this. Hey, Chrissy, go do that. Hey, TCI, go do this. Like, bro, leave me alone, bro. I'm just trying to vibe. And it's not even Christy. It's mainly me, too. <laughs> and they find a way to blame me for everything. My son don't hate that person. I'm just very annoyed and tired of the person. Like, I don't hate them. I just have a, a, a heavy grudge on them. Yeah, 100%. I just hate when I'm laying down, my mom calls me to get the remote even though it's next to her. <gasps> it be like that. When, you, when they tell you that when they call you from your room to get something that's in their room. Make it make sense. Bob, every, everything. Food, remote, She told me, clothes. Mark, she said, Robert, plug up my phone. That plug is next to you. Literally. Okay. <laughs> Love my name. Never have I ever agreed with with what the pastor was saying when preaching. Never have I ever spent months not reading the Bible. Months? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Just a you know you have. I, I got months? You. Months. No. As I was growing older, no. I started reading the Bible with months. No. A whole lecture car watch. Never have a. <laughs> Never, have I ever gotten... Never have I ever gotten a whoop in that church. <laughs> It was, oh, I had, oh my God, I got a bad one at church. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was just ruined. <laughs> the day of the revival. Anyways. So we have, I still remember when your mom came in that room with a stick. We have a golden room that used to be a room. Now it's not there anymore. That room was everybody's favorite room to get whooping. I remember when we first opened the church and we had a, that day we had to dance, which was 2000, 2009, and we had to perform. And there was something wrong with my uniform. I felt like, why well, I look different from all the other dancers? Even though we're wearing the same thing, but I felt like I was a little off. So we had like black pants and a red shirt that had flowers on it. And it was like only two people wearing flowers and the rest of them looked better with a nice cute dress and whatever. And I'm like, why do I look like a boy and the rest of them look like pretty girls? And then my hair, my hair on the other hand was a hot mess me knowing i am nine years old they made me look like a mock cop to go dance in front of everybody but everybody else looked good so i got mad and they took me to the room and they beat me oh my god they beat me again in the bathroom and then i tried to hide i tried to hide so i don't dance they got they got me <laughs> And there was other times where I got whooping for being bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Never have I ever skipped praying. Oh, what, church? Or like, when they're praying? Daily, daily life. Oh, daily life? Um. But I'm gonna be honest, them sleep be hitting different. Like, <laughs> no, when you, when you be trying to pray a night before you go to sleep, and then sometimes you just like, in the middle honestly, of praying. When no. I'm reading my Bible, I like to pray after reading the Bible. And there'll be some time I read the Bible, I close the Bible, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go pray now. Oh, I'm already like knocked out. I, I forgot about that. And then in the morning, I kind of redeem myself, but this is I kind of forget in the morning as well. I guess that's the end of our video.